inside. Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I've never seen raiders this If they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. And this is oh. where I come into play. Come in. Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I Why is Mother always so old? Look at his mom. Who are you again? What's going on? <laughs> that was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. <laughs> she <laughs> They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. You can tell she doesn't hear the serum. She doesn't even know who I am. Let's go. Good. I'll explain on the way. Let's go. You should know. I'm going to be dealing with My father is fine. For his own safety and everyone else, he became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in a way. I spent my life. It is an interesting story. That poses the question, would you really, would you give up your immortality to bring your father back? Oh, troubles ahead. What's a good thing this guy's going to give away our location and make hell break loose? But anyway, that does bring up the question. Would you bring your father back, or would you keep the immortality? You have to remember, this guy has been going at it for at least 200 years now, so he hasn't seen his father for several lifetimes. And I'm going to make a quick detour in my base, and, uh... Give myself some more ammo and screw this weather.
much, much better. I, I mean, who really get, likes getting rained on? That's that's not fun. Oh, hello. You have some sort of medical problem here, or are you just yanking my chain? Actually, I need some supplies. I got loads of stim packs. Can sure. Time to catch up to the old doctor. I'd like to believe that I would bring my father back if I could. But the the more rational part of me just says if your father's been gone for like 200 years you might have an addiction to that immortality. You know, cuz his sister's not looking for him and his mom is senile and old. I don't know how I don't know how she takes his serum and she's still senile and old. Okay, I was, I was worried that he might actually be here. I don't want to fight them quite... Well, fight them later. I'll be back to kill you guys later. There he is. Probably stuck. Did you see that? He was checking out my character. He was legitimately just looking her up and down. Forgot all about his father already. Now he's thinking about something else. I knew it. I, 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 I care about my father. Let me let me check you out for a few minutes. But but I care about him. Wait, come back. I want to put this on your head. No, I'll forget it. I'm just, I'm just gonna watch him for a little while, see where he goes. Go straight for those radioactive barrels. That that's what I would do, because radiation's always a good time. Oh great, there's a scorpion. And a death claw. This is not good. <laughs> Some of you may be judging me because I ran away, but it felt like the right thing to do. I mean, let's let's be fair. The two scorpions pop out of nowhere. Alpha death claw and another death claw. I 
I mean, those are pretty pretty heavy odds for one person who's no longer has the element of surprise. Wait a minute, is this old man just trying to get me killed? What's your deal, Cabot? The, the asylum's right there, yeah. Good thing we walked to the road to, to get here, but whatever. Almost there. Let's hope we're not too late. The good men seem to have given a good account of themselves. Not good enough, sadly. They give a good account of them. They're naked. Are they naked? Did he have our. Why are you. Uh, whatever. Kill him, Cabot. Finish him. Let's get the hell out of here. Finish him, Cabot. Bugs are freaking me out. dead yet, but I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I I sent the elevator down to the basement like you wanted and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. 
Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think. It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand damn, Edward. How, knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem to oh, I think he's faking it. You see him put his hand up? He's faking it. He just doesn't want to help Jack anymore. Got it. Let's go. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. You too. Take care, Edward. You're a good ghoul. I'll be all right. I, I know. I can kind of tell you're faking it. Huh? Oh. Huh? No, don't! There you are, bitch. Yeah, I just let them all walk through the door and kill them. Never used this way. Nobody's been in here for decades. There's no telling what we'll run into. I'm thinking ghouls, usually. Ghouls. Ghouls, rad roaches. What a mess. Let's hope we can find a way through. The utility elevator is on the bottom floor. Come on. I don't know, like he ever tells us oh. anything. End of the line! Jeez, he had an RPG.
Interesting you asked that question. I have increased vanilla spawns on, so there's a there's a lot of them. That guy is shooting from below us. Okay. Playing games with me, huh? Killing everyone in one clean sweep. I'm hoping if I take this elevator, he'll magically be in the elevator or something with me when I go down. Going down. Open the door. Kill everyone you see. Don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Because you know he's going to kill you. <laughs> Lock down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. You're running I'm out of time. The main door. Hurry! The Abramelin field is down! Apparently, even the simplest task was beyond your capabilities. 
I have no idea why they can't see me. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switched the four of Remelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door and let me out. Don't listen to him. Do not let him out. Yeah, you know... I don't like the idea of this guy getting out. Set the other three generators. I can end this. Do the right thing. Let me out of here. Do the right thing. Flip the switch. Don't worry. The data radiation won't harm you. I'm sorry, Father. I did everything I could to avoid this. I believe I was close to finding a way to remove the artifact. You liar! You said to put me here forever if you'd had your way. You Whoa. Do you truly think you have the power to destroy me? Good. Goodbye, Father. Hmm. Just gonna throw this out there, but uh, I think he did have the power to destroy you, and I also think Jack here only kept you around for your blood. Broken. Vegetable soup. That's why I killed you. Because you're a vegan. Ooh, magazine. Hell yeah. have any other choice, did we? You're going to have to decide that for yourself. I know. He would have killed both of us, of course. And then the rest of my family, and that would only have been the beginning. His crimes, back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now, it's a world made for monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No. I've answered my own question. We truly had no choice. You're just sorry that you lost your source of immortality juice. I don't care what you think anymore. <laughs> Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. Great. Thanks. One more thing. I've done so much research on the artifact. I may be able to do something with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. Your research wasn't in vain. You prolonged your life for hundreds of years. That's that's pretty good. That being said, I'm going to hope you don't mind. I'm going to take your, your dad's suit because it's unique. Do you think you can kill me? Looks like it, old man. Screw that pot. Oh, <laughs> I'll be leaving. And that concludes this playthrough. Oh, you touched my tra-la-la. -la.